Hi, in this video we will talk about the importance of sleep, how sleep can affect us in a lot of ways and how it can affect our mood and it can cause other medical problems also. More than one third of adult population has been having problems going to sleep, staying asleep or they wake up with poor quality of sleep. So when they are waking up, they don't feel fresh in the morning. People who are having depression tend to have problems with sleep. So they also have problems going to sleep, they wake up a lot or when they wake up, they don't feel fresh. And if sleep problem is not being treated, even if a person mood is being treated, the chances of having them having days with no depression is still very low. So even if the other symptoms of depression has been treated, but if sleep is not being treated, then the depression will persist. And there is also evidence that better sleep also help manage chronic medical condition also. So if someone has migraine or back pain, if the sleep is not good, it can affect their migraines or other medical problems also. If a person is having problems with sleep, they can also have increased anxiety. And also people who have substance use problem like alcohol use problem or other drugs problem tends to have problems with sleep also. So sometimes people tend to use alcohol or other drugs to help them go to sleep or help them not wake up uh, during the night. If a person is not getting good quality of sleep, they also will have lower productivity at work and they won't have a good quality of life. It also affects social and family life quite a bit. So sleep is very important. Some people have no problem going to sleep, but they are waking up quite a bit. Or some people are, don't have any problem once they go to sleep, but going to sleep take a long time. Um, some people have underlying problems that are causing them to have waking up during the night, like restless leg syndrome or sleep apnea or other uh, medical problems. So sleep is the most important aspect of our life. If we are not sleeping well, our brain is not getting enough oxygen and then it can affect our whole day. It can cause depression, it can cause anxiety, it can cause the medical problems also. There are also research showing that sleeping less than five hours can cause weight gain. It does not mean everyone will have weight gain, but it can cause weight gain. Due to less sleep, we have less concentration of a hormone called leptin, L-E-P-T-I-N. This is the hormone that signal the brain and, and tell the brain that we are full now. So then we don't overeat. As leptin concentration is low, then people eat more. Also due to less sleep, we have increased concentration of another hormone called ghrelin, G-H-R-E-L-I-N, which also stimulate appetite. So we are not sleeping well, we have increased concentration of this hormone. It is stimulating our appetite, so we tend to eat more and then we are also not sleeping well so it keeps increasing that hormone concentration and it stimulates our appetite so these two hormones are very important leptin and ghrelin and it does uh, get affected with uh, the, the quality of sleep the timing of the sleep how much time you are uh, sleeping so sleep has a uh, number of uh, uh, these, and sleep can cause a lot of problems in our life if we are not sleeping well. It can cause depression, anxiety. Um, it can also cause substance use problem. Um, there are research showing that people with sleep problems are 28% more likely to develop type 2 diabetes. 
One research showed that compared to people who sleep 7 to 8 hours, people who sleep less have an increased risk of death of 12%. People are at risk of developing many medical problems due to untreated sleep problems and some of these medical problems include even a stroke high blood pressure weight gain and asthma so sleep is very important we live in a world which is very high paced we are so busy in our work in our other aspect of life so we don't give a lot of importance to sleep we sleep late, we wake up late, or we uh, sleep late, we wake up early, we push our body so much, but our quality of sleep is getting affected and eventually it, it does catch up. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we are sleeping better, our quality of sleep is better, we try to go to sleep at the same time, we try to wake up at the same time. Some people are more prone to have sleep problems and they need to be more vigilant about this sleep pattern. Sometimes I tell people to have a sleep diary or sleep log for two weeks and then you can tell you know what time you are going to bed, what time you are waking up, how many times you are waking up during the night time. But sleep is very very important. It will affect your mood, your quality of life, your physical functioning, your social functioning, your family life. So it is very important and if you continue to have problems with sleep, you know, talk to your doctor or get an appointment with a sleep doctor to make sure you don't have any other underlying problems like uh, sleep apnea, restless leg syndrome or some other aspect that are causing you to have poor quality of sleep. Thanks for watching.